Hey guys, it is Monday night here in West Virginia, and Ethan and I are going to unbox a case of Matchbox cars we bought from Dollar Tree. If you did not know, in Dollar Tree's website, you can actually buy sealed cases of Matchbox and Hot Wheels. And that's the only way you can buy them. Actually, you can't buy them separately. You can't buy them like random 10 at a time. You have to buy the whole sealed case, which is kind of cool. That's the only store that I know of right now that I can do that. But if you guys know of any others, please let me know. I'd love to have some connections of getting like sealed cases of Hot Wheels for a buck each. That's the one thing beautiful about this uh, buying them online too. If you go to Dollar Tree nowadays, most stuff in the store is a buck and a quarter, including Matchbox and Hot Wheels. On their website, they're only a buck each. So Ethan and I bought a case of Matchbox and we bought a case of Hot Wheels for store pickup. There was an issue with the Hot Wheels. They were like... I think one week and then it was the second week it was delayed so I went ahead and canceled it and then ironically when I went to pick up this box of matchboxes which was on time the case of Hot Wheels was there was going to go ahead and get it but they wanted to charge me a buck 25 each since I canceled it online they wanted to charge me the store price so I didn't buy it and they wouldn't let me go through it unfortunately so I don't know if there was a super in it or not my luck there probably was <laughs> so anyways uh we went ahead came home with this case and we ordered a case of um Hot Wheels to have shipped to our door and it actually is ten dollars cheaper to do it this way with shipping and everything uh instead of paying a buck and a quarter each inside the store so hopefully the case we have delivered to our house has a super or something interesting um this case was factory sealed and the hot wheel one that was at the store was factory sealed too nobody tampered with it some people have some bad reviews on their a website saying that the case is tampered with then there's some good reviews a couple people said they got the c case and actually got the dodger van uh dodgy um van the dodge van the japanese goat karting van so uh anyways they got supers of that so there's some very good reviews and very bad reviews so it's kind of a mixed bag um but anyways, I figured I would take a chance. So this case was sealed, and then the shipping like sticker on the top of it here, you could see where it did have my name, Ronald Ward, and blah, 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 and hold for customer processing, blah, blah, blah. Ethan and I already opened it up to see what was in there, because I don't know much about Matchbox like cases. I don't know what comes in the case. I don't know anything about them, really. I buy them occasionally because they look cool, and I buy them mainly for Ethan. Uh, but this case, when we popped it open, we found out that we have most of these cars, unfortunately. But hey, it's a random case. You can't pick which release you get, and you never know. And you know Dollar Tree is usually a couple cases behind. So um, the only thing I did notice, the case that they had at the store for me was an E-case. And that's like one of the more recent ones, even at Walmart, for Hot Wheels anyway. So that was kind of strange. But the case that they had out on the floor was a C-case. That's where we got that 55 Chevy and the 70, 70 Pontiac Firebird we showed you guys the other day. So this case, as you can see, it's Matchbox 30782, made in Thailand, contains 24 pieces, your UPC code, and this is 969A. Don't know what that means, case A, or what it means, because as I said, I'm a novice when it comes to Matchbox. Um, then, same thing on this end, and toys, Matchbox, and blah, blah, blah. Bottom side, it has 30782. Not sure if that's like the L2953 on Hot Wheels to indicate L295 is your US release. And then the C, whatever it is, is your international release for Hot Wheels. Not sure if this is something like that for Matchbox. But anyways, we have the shipping label on this side here. I'll flip it around so you can read it. That is Mattel. And from Jonestown, PA, going direct to Dollar Tree stores and... Uh, South Carolina and blah 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 so they do distribute and give you the case direct they won't even send it to their store which I think is really cool depending on how the Hot Wheel case goes even if I don't get a super if it is factory sealed I will order a second one I want to get my hands on the J case because it has some cool LBWK rig cars coming out they have uh, Kato Waturo Wataru, however you want to say his name uh, his 
a Ken Mary Skyline and the Baby Blue in the J case, so I'm looking forward to that one. So definitely we'll have to get that case. I think it's also the one with the pink 55 Chevy, so I will be buying cases from Dollar Tree as long as it goes okay. So anyways, opening him up. Oh yeah, Ethan, say hi. Hi. Yeah, I forgot to introduce Ethan. <laughs> so I got all wrapped up in the giving the, uh, the spill in this case. So, yeah, it says 24 cars. Um, and for 24 bucks, hey, why not? And the doubles we can sell in a garage sale or trade or whatever. I can give Ethan the ones he doesn't have already. But as I said, we have a lot of these. So some of these you only get one of each. And some of them you get two of each and so forth. One of them we've already opened because Ethan had a fit when I showed him these cars and he wanted one and I wouldn't give him one so to keep him from crying we gave him one. This is one that you only get one of. This is your ice cream truck but this is Coco Mocha um, or Choco Mocha however you'd like to pronounce it. This is a very plastic casting. <laughs> I don't know how else to call it but yeah you have a little bit of a metal base here a little tiny metal base but everything else is plastic plastic but it is kind of cool uh especially for a kid so ethan digs it has side mirrors on the casting which is kind of cool not much front end detail or rear end detail but it does look pretty cool for a little ice cream truck for a kid to play with or even for a diorama for that matter because the wheels and stuff are a good choice I do like the little stilly looking wheels, or still hubcap, dog dish, hubcaps, poverty caps, police caps, whatever you want to call them. I like that look on the Matchbox. I do like Matchbox's plastic wheels over Hot Wheels. Matchbox has some really cool looking wheels. So you only got one of these, and that's where he was inserted right there. Here is his card and such. So Ethan opened that one already. Ethan, here's your Coco Mocha thing. So then you get... Oh, Let's go a little bit closer here again and this damn board again. I don't know. You guys probably heard me complaining in the last video. So, anyways, um, you get two of the Durangos, which you guys may remember. We've already showed you one of these in our past video. Um, this is a very sweet casting. Nice front end detail. Nice tail light detail. Has a hitch. Like the five spoke wheel choice. Very cool casting and you get two of them. So I do like that. It has the Dodge emblem on the top of the card. Matchbox and then the metal thing and blah, blah, blah. So this is a very neat casting. Do dig that one. That's why we bought it a while back. Uh, this is another one that we got recently, but I don't think we unboxed for you guys. This is your Audi. Um, this is the Audi, uh, what is this, TT Coupe. And... Let me check in our Hot Wheel case here, guys. Just bear with me for a second. That way I can give you a spin around on some of them up close and personal. Uh, because we do have a lot of them open. Uh, the Durango, I'm not sure where we have him at. But the Audi, on the other hand, should be fairly easy to find. But anyways, going over the Audi. Very nice looking car. Once again, nice headlight detail, tail light detail. The Audi interlinked rings in the grill, I believe. Or no, it's on the header panel. Sorry. But you get two of these. Very cool looking little casting. Um, and yeah, I should have done this before the video. I should have pulled these guys out so we had them to look at together. Um, but yeah, here's the Audi. All right, so I'll give you a close-up look at him. Another casting with molded in mirrors, which is really nice. And as I said, nice tampo details for the headlights, for the Audi emblem, cutouts for the grill, for the bumper cover, the linked rings on the rear deck lid. Very cool casting. Do dig this one. So that's why we picked that up the other week at Walmart. And you get two of them. So pretty cool. Actually, the cruddy ones... No offense, but yeah, the cruddy ones. <laughs> they are the ones that you get only one of each of. So that is kind of cool that they give you doubles of the uh, really nice castings. So the next one in this was the ice cream truck. And then another one that you only get one of. And this is your Nissan NV van. And 
Not sure if this is like an electric vehicle. Not a big fan of it. It is some kind of adventure, like tour truck or something that you would probably see at some kind of resort or something. So pretty cool, I guess. It has a hitch, though. That's a benefit. Here, you can rip this guy open. This is a new one for your collection. You don't have him yet, so go ahead and rip that one open for us. That way we can take a look at him. All right. There you go, buddy. Ethan does a good job ripping these things open. Too bad these cards we can't save for a melon. As far as I know, we've been saving all of our Hot Wheel cards for a melon Hot Wheel eventually. Although I have um, connections on those. If you guys haven't got the Legends Tour, um, Zamac 70 Boss 302, I have a bunch more coming. I got eight in my first order from the Philippines. I got another 15 of them, 14 or 15 of them coming. So if you have not got one yet, let me know. Uh, not sure on the cost of them at the moment, but I'm figuring around like 30 bucks each, something like that. Uh, so if you have not been able to go to Legends Tour and you can't get one of those, let me know. I can get a bunch of them. So anyways, going back to this Nissan MV van. Pretty cool. And it'll be a nice little addition to Ethan's collection. It looks like an old, like, 80s Dodge Caravan, in my opinion. The front end, the chiseled, sharp lines... Definitely looks like a 80s, early 90s caravan. Once again, though, has molded in mirrors, which I do dig that. That adds a lot of character to the casting. It makes it more realistic. So, moving along to our second roll. And this, you have two... We have all of these already. You have two of the... Ford Interceptor SUV NYPD. This is a cool casting too. Front brush guard. Uh, no headlight tampos though. Disappointed. Tell light tampos though, but no headlight tampos. But you do get a brush guard. You get a light bar. The dog dish or police caps look really tasteful on this casting. Once again, hitch. So pretty cool. Molded in mirrors. Also molded in spotlight pretty cool um and this casting just looking quickly to see if i can locate it in our stuff here and i can there it is so yeah we already have this guy too so you get two of them and well here's ours opened up and it is a very nice casting a little bit small for the suv police interceptor um and it has like marker lights i think on it but no headlights, so a little disappointed with that. But anyways, everything else, so pretty nice. Pretty cool casting. Once again, not you get... Bad. Yeah, not too bad, you're right. So the next one that you get two of, but they're not next to each other, is this guy. This is a very cool casting and very true to scale on this one. This is your Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Like these multiple, like, doubled spoke wheels... I say doubled because it looks like there's two spokes Siamese to each other um, on each spoke. So very cool looking wheel. Nice with the triple diamond emblem on the header panel. Your marker lights. It does have hideaway headlights or flip up headlights. So uh, that's why you don't see any headlight tampos. You get tail light tampos and such. We do have one of these. And let me see if I can locate him quickly so we can take a look at him to together here um and unfortunately i don't think i'm going to be able to find him so quickly i found our durango though so real quick look at the durango out of the package once again this one has molded in mirrors too cut out sunroof very nice with the headlight tampos even marker lights in uh well marker light cutouts marker and so yeah marker lights full Rear tail light, license plate, very cool little casting. So now trying to get back to our Mitsubishi. Uh, yeah, here we go. So as you can see, we have a lot of these. So that's why I was a little disappointed. It's a good case, a lot of good cars, a lot of cool castings. I'm just disappointed because we have a lot of them and I wanted to give most of these to Ethan. So anyways, he only gets a couple of them, huh? Yeah, it's a car. See, that's what I mean, buddy. You have all these already, so that's why I wasn't giving you a bunch of them. So, moving along, another one that we have. And you get two of these, and it's a cool casting, too. This is your Nissan Hard Body. Um, and it's your extended cab one. Pretty cool. And 
it has like a rope and other things in the rear and it's got like a poverty cap but it's got a like beauty ring trim ring on it no front end detail because it's plastic part of the base what? but yeah no tail light details either okay. but it has that 90s looking graphic on the side that a lot of the manufacturers did on their vehicles so that does look very 90s or 80s um and we do have one of them out of the package so you guys can see it up close i know somebody asked me if the sunroof opened in the video that i opened this in and no it does not but it does look like it is popped open but it does not pop open anymore so on the back you got a spare tire i thought that was a rope and then part of the bed floor is plastic. The wheel tubs are plastic. Part of the interior bucket where part of the bed floor is metal is part of the casting itself. Maybe. So not a bad looking truck. Not um, yeah, not too bad. That is a cool one. It's one of Ethan's favorites. Uh, then the next one we have in here, you get two of. This is the Mini Cooper. And this one we just kind of showed you guys in the last video and we unboxed. So nice casting. And as I said, the chassis has the fender flares, so pretty cool, nice headlight and grill detail, and the mini badge on the rear tailgate, the multiple colored rear light tampos, very nicely done. Once again, it has a split spoke uh, or wheels on it, and I was just seeing if I could find him in our box, and yes, I can. So here we go, we'll take a look at him. And as I said, we just did this one not too long ago in a video, molded in mirrors, the antenna. The roof is all plastic, so that's one downside, but still not a bad casting. You want to do a bad copy? Yeah, but you can see all the detail with the Telic Tampos, the Mini Cooper emblem, and such. Then next is one we do not have, and they give you two of these. This is a uh, 19... 49 Curtis Sport Car. Don't know this one very well, but I've seen them on the pegs, and this is one I did not opt to buy. But now we got two of them, so hey, Ethan, let's go ahead and rip one of these guys open so you can have one for your collection. The 1949 Curtis Sport Car. It is a two seater roadster. Uh, not bad looking, not kind of. Bad? Yeah, not, car. yeah, it kind of reminded me of a Kaiser in a way. Uh, yeah, or Hudson, or something like that. Maybe even part of their company. I don't know. Or just maybe British. No, not British, because it's left-hand drive. So, drive? maybe something else. But, and yeah, not bad looking. Not bad. And one, it's got the big chrome trim down the side. It feels very light and plastic. Dive? Yeah, detailed front Detail. emblem, headlights, and headlights. such. Rear emblems and such emblems? nice chromed bumpers and the side trim kind of as part of that chrome bumper insert so that's like one big piece the bumpers the side trim and everything bumper? then the body and the chassis goes together body. so nicely done casting actually nice detail not, not a fan of the car itself but not, not too bad right not too bad. right there you Look, go buddy way to up. yeah the uh the top is down Open down. Yeah, and then this one is another one I like. It is the Gladiator without the doors on it. Pretty cool casting. This one we do have a couple of that are opened and just trying to find it. Actually, I think we only have one. But, well, unfortunately, I cannot find it right now. Oh, well, I'm going to show it to you guys. But, yeah, there we go. So, there you have it. So, let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. So, the fender flares are part of the interior bucket. The interior bucket's black, and it does make up the bed floor. And um, the wheels, I like. They're kind of like a graphite gray with, like, a little gray? bit of a dull shine. Yeah. Dull? It does have mud style. Mud style. Knobby kind of tires. Tell light tampos. Only on the side, though, kind of weird looking. No headlight tampos. Does have the Rubicon on the side of the hood. Tight hood. Yeah. Steering wheel isn't so well done. But not a bad looking casting not for a bad. buck. Yeah, not bad for a buck. 
and you get two of them in this case. So another one we do not have is the 2019 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. Oh, they give you two of them in orange. Not a bad looking casting. No. Also has the side mirrors molded in. So can you rip this guy open so we can take a look at him, Ethan? Open. Okay, I'll help you out here. Uh. Daddy, open. Yeah, Daddy, open. They use better glue with Matchbox than Hot Wheels, I think. So, it's yeah. Orange one. Yeah, it's an orange one, and it's a convertible too, just like the Curtis car. Can I show people the car? Give me one second, and you can have it right back, buddy. So nicely done with headlight tampos, VW emblem on the front trunk. I guess it would be. Maybe that is the hood. I don't know on these new ones. I don't think they're air cooled. I think they're liquid cooled now. Yeah. Yeah, nice tell. Yeah, roof is down. You're right. Top is down. Tell light tampos, VW emblem on the deck lid, license plate, exhaust cutouts. So pretty cool. Nicely Not detailed. Too Not too bad. You're right. So nice orange roadster there. So there you go, buddy. Then the next one, you only get one of, and we do have this one because it is a loader, and Ethan loves oh, his construction vehicles. This is to represent like your Bobcat, the Skidster, they call it Skidsteer. I call it Bobcat, whatever Bobcat. manufacturer use, but it is kind of cool. It gives you these little tabs here, and you just pull on it, and it has the bucket where it lifts a up and bucket. down. So uh, pretty cool down. little casting. All metal, too. It's actually heavier than the Curtis. So it's actually a little guy, but it's heavier than the it's Curtis. Heavy. It's heavier than the actual um, ice cream truck. So it is a heavy little casting. A Nicely heavy. done. Heavy. Yeah, this one's heavy. Phil, see how heavy that is? It's kind of heavy. Kind of heavy? Yeah, so then the next one. Is another one that we have already opened for you lately. This is the Miata MK5 Miata. Miata. And you get two of them. This is a nice casting, too. Uh, and I pointed out on this one, you don't have the tail light tampos. That's the downside of it. But you do have molded in mirrors, and you do have headlight tampos, the Mazda emblem, marker light tampos, graphics, emblems, nice wheel choice for it. So, really cool casting. I like the first release of this from back in 2016 in red. Very cool looking in red. With no graphics, just straight, plain red. So, nice little red, casting. Red. And then, last but not least, you only get one of these, and thankfully. <laughs> so, it's another ugly one, uh, in my opinion. This is the 09 International... Oh. E Star. Not sure. Maybe an electric vehicle. Not so keen on this one. Um, I've been not been showing you guys the back of the cards, but really there's not much to see. Just a bunch of licensing. That's about it. So, Ethan, this is the last one. You don't have this guy, so go ahead and rip him open and let's take a look at him. Here we go. Too hard to me. Yeah. Daddy, do it. Yeah, Daddy, do it again. This is kind of hard. They used a lot of glue on this. Daddy, Daddy, do it. Yeah. And this is another one that's predominantly plastic. The base is metal. Everything else is plastic. So, not too bad. The W reminds me of the Wii End uh, emblem. If you're into car performance stuff, you guys will know what I'm talking about. It looks like the Wii End W manufacturing Thing. So it's okay. I guess it's an electric van, maybe. Electric van. But, and then, anyways, this is the last one in that case. You only get one of them, electric. and as I said, thankfully. So as you notice, the ugly ones you only get one of each. The good electric ones you get two of each, which is kind of cool. And then there's our pile of Matchbox, and then our pile of open Matchbox. So we have them everywhere. So guys, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. We'll be back maybe later in the week with another unboxing. I got a couple cool pieces from eBay. I'll show you guys. And then um, we'll have another box coming from the Philippines. Not this weekend, but next weekend. And we'll be ripping that open, another DHL box, probably around the 13th or 14th, so make sure you tune in for that. And you'll see the icons for my videos. If you turn on your notifications, make sure you turn on that bell so you don't miss an episode. So thanks for watching. Say bye, Ethan. Bye!